Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, The Yumbless Foodies! Yeah. Today we have got you a dish which is a very, very common dish. Uh, you guys must have eaten it a thousand times also. Uh, but let me assure you, it's not something that's made at home too often. Usually you have to order it from out or you need to visit a restaurant or you know a place where you get this available. Okay, so we've got you this dish only so that you can make it at home. You don't need to go to any place to eat it. You don't need to even order it because we've made it very easy for you. Okay, today's dish. We have made stuffed garlic bread. So we have stuffed it with cheese and corn. Uh, it's really delicious and uh, we have given you step by step uh, procedure how to do it. Uh, so you need to watch the video till the end to know how we have made it. So let's get to cooking and let's enjoy the video. In a mixing bowl, add about 1 teaspoon of active yeast to warm water. To this, we add about 1 tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to mix this really well and leave it for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you'd notice a couple of bubbles. That's when the yeast is activated. Now we're going to add about half a cup of all-purpose flour. This is basically to form a really soft dough. And we're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. You may add more or less depending on your choice. And one tablespoon of oil. Now with the help of a spoon, we're going to mix this really well. And remember that we have to form a dough. So now gradually we're going to add another half a cup of all-purpose flour. And mix this again. And if necessary, you need to add more flour, then please go ahead, add more flour and create a really soft dough. It doesn't have to be runny, it has to leave the sides of the bowl. Now to this, we're going to add one teaspoon of oil and this will help to conceal and coat the dough completely with the oil so that there's no extra film on it. And now we're going to cover this and leave it aside for about two hours. Let the yeast activate and the dough is going to be fermented. Now we're going to take three tablespoons of melted butter to which we'll add one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of chopped coriander. This is our garlic butter. And look at that dough. It's nice and fluffy, isn't it? We're going to punch that down onto a dough surface and we're going to mold it a bit just like this. Be very gentle and careful because the dough is soft. And with the help of a rolling pin, we're now going to flatten it out because this needs to go over a baking tray. So flatten it out and add some garlic butter to your baking tray to avoid the dough sticking to the tray and add the dough over it. Now we're going to add some of the garlic butter on one side of the dough. So just spread it out on one half and we've added some boiled sweet corn over the garlic butter. And we've added lots of cheese. That's about half a cup of grated cheese. You could add more or less. And we've added some pasta seasoning. You could use any other herb seasoning of your choice. We've also added some chili flakes. And now we're going to gently seal this. Be careful, the dough is really soft. So when you pull it across, try not to break the dough. Just gently pull it across and seal the edges. As you can see, we're being very, very careful. Now to this, we're going to make a few cuts. We've uh, left about one inch of spacing between each of the cuts. Uh, this, it would be recommended to leave about that much space. If you want, you could leave a little more, probably one and a half to two inches of gap between each cut. To this, we're going to add some more garlic butter. This will just help to enhance the flavors so good. It's going to be really buttery, really smooth, delicious, I promise. And to this, we're going to add a little more of pasta seasoning. 
and some more chili flakes just for the flavor and once this is done we're going to bake this at about 180 degrees for 40 minutes and that's it ready to eat hey guys I hope you liked the video uh, this cheese garlic bread the stuffed cheese garlic bread can be eaten the way it is because it's very moist however you can also enjoy it with uh, tomato ketchup so it tastes really good with that yeah so I hope you like the video and if you like it please like share subscribe comment and don't forget the bell icon ting tong yeah that's very important for us and this was humorous foodie signing off take care hasta la vista